Hello, I'm Robin Worley. Welcome to Lenscraft. In a previous video, I demonstrated how you could add a border effect to an image using Lightroom. This time, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop, and we're going to add a plain white border to images such as the one you see on screen. I'm also going to show you how we can record that as an action and play it back later. So the first thing I want to do is, with my image open, I'm going to open my Actions window. So we click on Windows and display the actions. Now, I've created a folder already, down here at the bottom, Demo Actions, and that's where I'm going to actually record what I do. So the first thing I want to do is record a new action. So we can create an action using this option here, and we can name this. So I'm going to actually call this Add White Border. And you have the option, as you do with most actions, to create a function key that you can assign it to. So I'm going to actually assign it to F10 with the Shift key held down. So when I press F10 and Shift together, it will run this action. So now we'll put the Photoshop into Record. And now we can actually start going through the steps to create our border around the image. So the first thing I'm going to do, because this is a full-sized image with the Pro RGB colour spaces, I'm going to actually change the colour space. So I do that using Edit, Convert to Profile, and I'll select here Destination Colour Space sRGB. And that's because we typically want to display images such as this with white borders on the internet. And the internet, really, you need the sRGB colour space. So at the moment it's Pro and that could cause problems for a few monitors out there so we'll just use sRGB click OK the next thing I want to do is select an image size that's more appropriate for displaying on the internet so I'll do that by selecting image image size and I can either enter my image resolution here or I can pick one of the predefined and I'm actually going to pick this one 1366 by 768 at 72 ppi. That's pretty ideal for displaying on uh, Facebook, Flickr. Oh, I just click OK. Now, as I did that, the action has been recorded up here. So you can see the first step, convert to profile, and the second step, image size. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my entire image. And I'm going to do this because I want to put a stroke around the image. Um, so if I collect all, and now I can select to stroke the border around the image. So if I select stroke, you'll see what I mean. You can set the stroke width, and I'm going to set this to one pixel wide. And I'm going to set the color to be black. And then we'll set it to stroke around the inside of the frame. And that's going to draw a very thin one pixel line around the entire inside of the image. And we'll click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is size the canvas that sits behind this image. So when you create an image in Photoshop, you have a canvas size and an image size, and the two are identical normally, but you can resize the canvas differently. So we'll do that by selecting Image, Canvas Size, and here you'll notice at the moment it's set to the width and height that we selected previously. Now I'm going to actually set this to enlarge and the easiest way to, to do this, I find, is to go to a percentage indicator. And we'll set that to be 120% width and 120% height. So that will proportionately add a canvas on the height and width. The other thing you can do is set the anchor point. Now, by default, this is in the center, but you can actually put it to the edges. Now, you do want it in the center for this, because what it will do is it will scale the image to the top and bottom and the left and right as if it's coming out of the center of the image. You'll see what I mean when I hit OK. So there we now have our image, and it's as simple as that to actually create a nice white border with a little black stroke line around the inside of the image. Now, we could actually record to save as well, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just stop that there. So that's my image 
created. Let's just set that to 100% so you can see. And that now could be posted to anywhere that you want really on the internet. Now I've got another image open here, which is of different dimensions. Now let's run the option here and uh, sorry the action here and let's see what it does to this image so to run an action you could actually use the button option here or as i said earlier i can hold down shift and f10 and there we have it it's run the action on here and again we've now got a nice image border hope you found that useful and thanks for watching Thank you.